Will. This is the men's 400 freestyle S10 final. This is how they line up. Brazil, Harrison Murray, Dubrov, Kripak, Takin, Uo, Vanzenko and Crothers. Rowan Crothers, the 18-year-old who missed medals in all of the finals he swum so far, goes in lane 8 for Australia, 4.13.72 in qualifying. Enormous cheer for the 32-year-old Andre Brasil representing the host nation at Rio 2016. Two silvers, including a silver in the 100 free and a bronze in the 100 fly. Dmitry Vanzenko, one of three Ukrainians who goes in this race. He goes in seventh, bronze in the 200 IM. Third at the World Championships, though. Next out from Australia, Guy Harrison-Murray, the 19-year-old. He can take a race out hard, but can he finish? If he takes it out hard and doesn't get the others to chase, maybe he could sneak in with a medal here. English-born, represents Australia. Going in lane six, one of the greatest Paris swimmers of all time, the great Benoit Wall, 32-year-old, 19-time Paralympic medalist, nine-time Paralympic champion. An all-round good guy. Gold medalist in this event as far back as 2004. But new kid on the block, so to speak. 27. Used to be in contention for the Ukrainian Olympic team. And now swimming Paralympic events for Ukraine. Three golds, two silvers and a bronze. Dubrov goes in three, going in lane five. Is Bas Dukin of the Netherlands, a 17-year-old multi-medalist at youth level and indeed at national level in open water swimming. He's got the power, he's got the strength, he's got the endurance. But the man who goes in lane four, Maxim Kripak, the most decorated swimmer at Rio 2016 is Maxim Kripak. Four gold medals, two silvers in just six events. The Paralympic record held by Ian Silverman, the world record still held by Ian Silverman, a 4.03.57. Now, Maxim Kripak is swimming 405s. Well, fancy at least perhaps a Paralympic record, if not a world record in this race. But what Benoit Uo needs to do is try to beat two of the four most decorated swimmers at Rio 2016 and somebody who will be spurred on by the home faithful. Nervous moments poolside for many. Andre Brazil gets up on the starters blocks. He goes in lane one. Brazil, Harrison Murray, Dubrov, Kripak, Takin, Uo, Vanzenko, and Crothers representing Australia, the second Australian in the pool. Three Ukrainians, a Brazilian, a Canadian, and a Dutchman. Out in lane one, Andre Brazil gets off to an inspired start, but in the pool it is Kripak showing the speed alongside his compatriot Dubrov. Kripak goes in three, Dubrov goes in four. Have they gone out just a little too hard here? Harrison Murray, who likes to chase early on, is going out in a rather more controlled and subdued fashion, which is the smarter approach, but he's still going out relatively fast between Brazil, who looks to be chasing it, and Dubrov and Kripak, who are first to touch at the wall in that order. Dubrov first. Five hundredths of a second behind him is Kripak on the turn. And already the Ukrainians looking good, looking well ahead of any other swimmer in the pool now, bar maybe Brazil, but they look like they're swimming within themselves. They do not look like they're chasing it out hard. They do not like they're going to burn themselves out. Well, that first 50 was 26.8 seconds. That gives you an idea of why this pair is in front because they were absolutely firing that first 50 and have tried to open up just a slender advantage, about a body length on the rest of the field. The two Ukrainians very much swimming in unison at the moment and looking extremely strong. Well, Kripak at the moment is uh, only four one-hundredths of a second ahead of Dubrov, and Dubrov is 
possibly better on the turns and sometimes faster in the pool. It's difficult to judge at any given time. They do have bursts of energy, both these swimmers. Dubrov is probably the fastest of the finishers, but uh, indeed, Kripak has got some incredible abilities to break into a lead. They are now well in front. Benoit Uo of Canada is making a charge from lane six, while Andre Brazil is hanging on in lane one trying to fight for that bronze medal at the moment because the gold and silver, if they go at this rate, are going to be to Ukraine. We don't know in what order because Dubrov and Kripak are basically swimming side by side as if this were a training swim. They seem to be in a league of their own right now. They do. The last two 50s have been between the 30 and 31 second mark, so they're keeping a very, very quick pace, it must be said. So the Canadian moving well into the bronze medal position, but don't forget about Andre Brazil, and don't forget that he has the Brazilian crowd behind him because they're going to be wheeling him home. He's swimming in lane one, right next to the grandstand, and uh, they will be cheering. Expect that to build throughout the rest race, but you're right, look at this, well, clinical display from the two Ukrainians swimming together, it seems. Well, it is very impressive at the moment. They look like they're in a training swim at the moment in a very fast pace here. Maxim Kripak and Denis Dubrov of Ukraine side by side. Benoit Uo is going into third place now, well ahead of Andre Brasil. And that sort of muted the, the crowd at the Olympic Aquatic Stadium. But Bas Tuckett is trying to go with Benoit Uo. Gold medalist as far back as 2004 in this event. Silver in 2012 is Uo and a man who has got such an incredible career behind him already a man who has done so much more than simply para swimming started at benoit world foundation back in 2009 He's, he does so much to help other para athletes not just in sporting spheres but in academic spheres as well and a man who only a handful of years ago completed his degree in marketing communications and administration in quebec and a man as well who's done a great deal for african para athletes He's travelled to the continent on numerous occasions. Right now, though, they're in a league of their own. Swimming at 329.89, Kripak touched the head of Dubrov at the 350 split by three one hundredths of a second. And let me tell you how fast this is. Look at that. They are so far ahead of world record pace, it is not even funny. It is going to be a world record by a most substantial margin. Kripak, as if this were a training swim, and he had everything left in the tank, touches in a mammoth world record time. 3.57.71 ahead of Dubrov, and Benoit Uo with an historic 20th Paralympic Games medal. That was out of this world. Maxim Kripak with a world record at 4.03.57 coming into this, Ian Silverman's record set just two years ago in Pasadena has seen his world record just obliterated by Kripak not only breaking the world record the first swimmer to go under four minutes in this event Dubrov has still not done that a four minutes 0.11 and or with a 4.04.63 finishes in a very impressive third and a smile on his face, the great Canadian, the great gentleman, and the incredible ambassador of the Paralympic Games. He is delighted. That's his 20th Paralympic Games medal, and is a, a phenomenal milestone. But speaking of phenomenal, <laughs> what more can you say? You'll run out of superlatives describing these two. Well, Kripak tried to make the move at around the 300 meter mark, and he was trying to shake off Dubrov at that stage but he wasn't having any, any luck Dubrov kept coming back at him so it wasn't until that final 50 that he managed to pull in front you could see his stroke rate just increased substantially there's a lot of churning and splashing going on he just had so much left in the tank what a finish well happiest is the Canadian Benoit who maintains that impressive record of having medaled now in every Paralympic Games he's participated in five successive Paralympic Games but a bronze medal because two Ukrainians have just blown the field out of the water Maxim Kripak in a world record 357.71 Denis Dubrov a 4 minute 0.11 and Benoit Uo 404.63 Benoit Uo of Canada the bronze medalist, but chuffed 